Of course, the famed purples. Protecting their famous purple and white. As we take a look at both captains, the government say captain is already there, Jermaine Muirhead and Jamari Morrison, both attacking midfielders for their respective teams. Carl Terrell will be in charge of today's game, he'll be assisted by Damian Williams and Kemar Reed. This is starting in lineup for Kingston College. David Martin is in goal. Calvin Gardner, Rajiv Gavin, and Andrade Wright, as well as Lewis Watson, who returns to the team for the first time since uh, September 28th, recovering from an injury. In the middle of the box, Scott McLeod, Jamari Morrison, and Demario McCarthy up front. Siobhan Gale, the striker, and uh, on his flank, uh, Ronaldo Robinson and Dwayne Atkinson with 14 goals so far to his name. And so Ludlow Bernard will set up this evening. This is how Maron Gordon will line up his Garvin Maceo team. Akil Benjamin in goal. In front of him, Roshane Brooks, Tavon Richards, Kyle Shimu, and Shoane Thomas, the back four. In the middle of the park, three as well. Barrington Blake, Marvin Williams, and Jermaine Muirhead. And up top, Kimani Silvera, Claire Clark. And, of course, the 16-year-old, the ever-dangerous Gregory Cousins. There is Maron Gordon, looking relaxed as per usual. Again, last year, he would have faced another North Street Giant, and he was hit pretty early after two minutes of free kick by Emilio So, and they just couldn't recover after that, and we see the importance of early goals, whether you're conceding them or whether you're scoring them. It sometimes tend to set the tone of the game and they don't want to hold fast against a Kingston College unit wanting to stamp their class. Carl Tyrell, the man in the middle. And we are ready. Gav Maceo will be Kicking towards the hills, towards the Blue Mountains, towards Uptown, Kingston. Kingston College will be kicking towards downtown Kingston, towards the Caribbean Sea. And they come calling through Dwayne Atkinson on his run. Cutting on his right foot and didn't have the swerve on it. And it goes behind for a goal kick to Gav Maceo. So first attack launched. And just not accurate. Dr. Bernard looking on at the bit of action there. And Miron Gordon just checking on his alarm clock. Just making sure that his team wasn't sleeping as they defended that first attack, that first wave from Kingston College. It's very concerned for Coach Gordon there and the task that he's up against, you put it into perspective here, he's not just up against a team that has not lost this season, but a perfect win record so far in terms of winning all the games they've played and they come into this game with a staggering 11 goals scored in the last three games with just one against. And if it gets any more difficult for Gotham Massey, we want to tell them that this Kingston College team has the best defensive record. Clear Clark, Clark does well. Clark drives that one inside, took a deflection, and keeper comes out to collect. So, a couple of warning shots being fired. Not the most convincing finishes from either team. Mm -hmm. 
Kingston College trying to come forward with a challenge coming in. Throw into Gav Masir, who make no mistake, they have their own firepower as well. Jordan Cousins, of course, leading the line, although he's just 16 years old. He really changed that game, as Mern Gordon said in his pre-game interview. The game against Manchester High, they had to come from behind twice, and Cousins came off the bench with 20 minutes to go and assisted in the last two goals, scoring one. If they are, in Gotham, I see a very organized team as well, and uh, they don't really give up in 11 games. They've only conceded seven goals. They've had four clean sheets in their 11 games so far. And like I said before, they only have given up more than one goal in a game once this season. Clark showing his skill again. Wins the free kick for his team. Do expect Gabon Messier to put up uh, a very good showing tonight as well because they hail from a parish which is arguably the best youth program in the country. I guess that's why their former president became the head of the JFF, Michael Ricketts. Well, new development plays a big role. Free kick sent long inside the box, looking for Muirhead! Off the post, the follow-up, cleared off the line! Calvin Gardner was in the right place at the right time. If he wasn't there, Kingston College would have been behind. We're talking about coach Bernard from Kingston College talking about a small challenge tonight. Well, there's the one inside. Let's hope the intensity continues from both teams. Long ball over the top. Looking for Siobhan Gale. Who's made his way from Moore to be high, Siobhan Gale, to be a part of this Kingston College starting lineup. Scored what, some four goals so far this season, Siobhan Gale. Ronaldo Robinson not happy with the support or the lack of it there. Clark trying to make a nuisance of himself again. Rasheen Brooks back there seeking some help. Got it from Tavon Richards. Ball dinked over the top. Keeper is off his line. And uh, no problems here for Keel Benjamin as he puts that one into touch. There's an earlier chance here for Gav Maceo. The initial header from Muirhead off the post. And then the follow-up couldn't quite get over it. Could he? Roshan Brooks. And did Calvin well Gardner did well. Did well with the initial header. He was under pressure all the time. And still to get it on target hitting the post. Lewis Watson with the throw, gets it back, trying to get inside the box. Oh, he's free! As the bird, but he could not fly. Atkinson sent it wide. He dragged that one, Dwight. And that came from a, a, a mistake there from the 16-year-old. She knew. Miss kick in the 18 yard box. Kimani Silvera just ran out of real estate. signs in this one where Gavin must say are not they're pressing high up the pitch and not allowing Kingston College a time and space. That's true. 
Now the long ball over the top. The keeper comes off his line now. Gathers it before Cousins could get anywhere near it. That's David Mutt. Atkinson. Again, keepers commanding their penalty area. Making the pitch smaller than they do so. Based on what we see from both teams, trying to play the ball over the top or between the, the into those half spaces for the runners. And these keepers will have to play like the sweeper keeper. So far, they're anticipating quite well. Not the best clearance that was. Cousins couldn't quite gather for Garvin Maceo. Bernardo Robinson. Atkinson looking for the give and go. And he was going, trying to get that one, it was too far in front of him. Lewis with the throw. McCarthy. Scott McLeod. Jordy right back to McLeod. Back to right. Robinson. That was a strange occurrence. Challenge there from Thomas. But the ball was still in play, and Robinson, he, he missed a trick there. He really did miss a trick. The ball was in play, and he paid no attention to the ball. I think that's why we had a delay uh, whistle coming from the referee because he was looking to play the advantage. Robinson, aggressively trying to retain the ball. Lost possession. A little bit more than a small challenge at the moment. <laughs> Most definitely he must be rethinking his, his statement. His delivery inside. Chance over the top. Probably couldn't believe his luck that he was left free inside the box and could not keep the shot down. Leaning away all the time and with that type of approach it was always going to go over. Got Marcel with the best chance of the game so far. Finding a lot of space in the Kingston College 18 yard box. I thought he gave up on that too early. Certainly it stayed on the line. We know it as it said in the rule book, all of the ball have to be off the field. Once a part of it touching the line, then it's still in play. Yeah, I felt he had the speed to get there, decided not to go after it. Lewis. Ball played through almost. Atkinson couldn't quite gather as interception was made. That's excellent interception from Richards there for Gabriel Masia. And Jordi Wright. Set up on a platter. The shot is high and wide. That's from Jamari Morrison. He's going to have to do a lot more motivation than he had initially planned, Coach Bernard.
McCarthy. Too much on it. Tavon Richards is back there. Atkinson. Well, that's a good challenge. That will come in from Thomas. Really timed it well. Got our ball just now. Showing Thomas on Demario McCarthy. Long throw taken. Atkinson with a wild swing and a miss. McCarthy, he gathers. Atkinson calling for it. And uh, didn't reach him. Cousins has some work to do. Using his strength well, and he was impeded. And the yellow card is shown to Calvin Gardner. Quite rightly so, that's definitely a yellow card challenge. Well, Gardner knows about the Royal Era Challenge, having made his way across from Cornwall College. But even that was too agricultural. Definitely so, and he had to do something anyhow, and uh, maybe he will take him one for the team there, because had he not done so, then Gardner must sail, and the likes of Cousins would have been through on goal. And coming out of the last game, we know he's full of confidence, Cousins. Well, we know that Barrington Blake can shoot it from distance. He's behind the ball. David Martin is weary of the setup of his wall at the moment. Jermaine Muirhead is also there, the captain. But who will take this one? It's delivered straight into the hands of goalkeeper Martin. Tame in the end, although it was on target, which is an improvement on most free picks <laughs> that we've seen this season. Here's Muirhead again, sends it away to Silveira. Needed a better ball inside. Cousins was picking for it, wasn't he? And it was played behind him. Morrison. Waiting on the flow of traffic to build up. Atkinson. Delightful ball. That's McCarthy. Pulls it back or try to. To find Robinson. Scott McLeod, wonderful ball, but uh, out comes Roshane Brooks, puts that one into touch. Vincent is trying to have some sustained pressure here on this Garvin Massey team. Simeon. homework done by coach Bernard because a large percentage of the attack for Kingston College has come down their right side which is Gavin Massey's left side here they come again Claire Clark or rather that's Muirhead and the shot is a weak one from Claire Clark Switching positions with his captain for the time being, who decided to take up the flank position just now. Because of the high press from Gavin Masseo, uh, Kinson College forced to play the ball long. Atkinson looking for Gale. And uh, Gale picking up a shoulder injury.
Kingston College not allowed to play out from the back or bust the possession out of the field. This is Brooks rather picking up the shoulder injury, colliding with Savon Gale. Robinson. Robinson doing well. Ronaldo Robinson! Went on a run. Shot was just driven wide though. It was a big shot from Robinson. Had Benjamin interested up all the way. Good close control of the football. Atkinson. Robinson again. On his left foot this time, forced wide. Trying to get by his marker. Delivers it inside! Somehow he got by Siobhan Gale. Right. Morrison. Kingston College trying to go into second gear with this sustained bit of pressure. Robinson robbed. And now possession will go the way of Gabi Maceo. Kimani Silvera. Suspect advantage play there by the referee. Silvera seems to have committed a foul there on Watson. The pattern of the game developing pretty much at Kinson College. The bulk of the attacking play. But a lot of good chances have gone to Gabo Messier as well. Probably the best of the chances. A Muirhead swings it across to the keeper. Managing to hold on. David Martin. He's had a little bit of pepper on it. There's an infringement on the play. Free kick to Kingston College. Again, they seem to make headway down that right on his right flank. Oh, they gave up possession. Gav Masil with the attack on now. Cousins is in an offside position. Was eager to get that one. I think he wasn't helped by his team. They won the ball, a good turnover in the middle of the park, and they needed to transition much quicker than that. Because Kingston College had opened up in attack. And that's something coach Maren Gordon will have to have his team do a lot better in this game, which is on the counter to transition much quicker. Whistle goes, free kick to Kingston College. Taken quickly, Morrison on it. Gale. Gale still on it. Sets it up, and the shot is wide from Morrison. Almost as if all concern just stopped playing there. It was Muirhead who had that one. Oh, Morrison, sorry, he, he, he seemed surprised by it. As if he was not expecting it to come back to him. Just dragged it wide. Robinson. It almost seems as if he's one of the other players on the KC team up for it. he was the only one who listened to coach saying it was a small challenge. <laughs> right. It's a sloppiness to a from Kingston's college. Rajiv Gavin saw that one all the way.
I suspect that Coach Bernard would have been expecting or anticipating that he would have scored already in this contest. Longer it goes on, Dapa Messiah will continue to believe. Well, they did beat Charlie, Charlie Smith, what, by five goals now? In the quarterfinal round of the Manny Cup. And they do wear similar colors, Gav Messiah and Charlie Smith, so yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Mistaking it. <laughs> Mistaking them to be. Definitely, Gav Messiah putting up a much stronger challenge than Charlie Smith would have. Good win by Morrison. Had good play. Lewis overlapping. Was tripped up. Marvin Williams pleading his case. Carlton having none of it. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Probably said it was not on purpose, but in the game of football, whether on purpose or not, he chipped him up, chipped the player up then. The foot all committed by Gavin Messier. Morrison sends this one inside, and inside there was Rajiv Gavin, who turned it into the hands of Akil Benjamin. A copy. It's with Morrison. Nice touch. Morrison gets by one challenge. Morrison on his left foot. Jamari Morrison tipped over. Well, I thought he got a touch on it, Akil Benjamin. It appeared he did. That chop carried some venom. Well, it, it's been pointed well, they for, have for a goal kick, but that was really some good work from Jamari Morrison, the Kingston College skipper. wins it, thinking of the shot, drives that one in, oh that's a fabulous effort from Dwayne Atkinson, who's done it again, Kingston College, that's his 15th, and it was laced with power, a goal worthy of the lead for the famed Purples, 1-0. Well, it was the player to watch starting this game here, but obviously, Gavin Masseya did not attention to him but he took a deflection I'm not sure without the direct deflection whether or not we'll keep over the top there but yeah my turn it did take a wicked deflection and that took it away from goalkeeper Benjamin but as they say in the sport you can't score if you don't shoot just their second shot on target and it was on target, despite the reflection, to go down as Atkinson's goal. And Kingston College, they lead by a goal to nil. Nice move from Ronald Robinson. 
could supply the pass though, but Atkinson is doing his endeavor best to win it back for his team, and he gets the throw for Kingston College. Maybe earlier in the game we talked about this Kingston College uh, well organized defensive, but they too are very good in going forward. And that would have been their 49th goal of the season. Atkinson's 15th. Given too much of the time and space, and you know what they say in football when you give the players time and space. Uh -huh. Well, the better ones will take the advantage. And he's one of the better ones, Wayne Atkinson. Lewis. Morrison. McLeod. Atkinson. Wright couldn't get there. Shawane Thomas putting that one into touch. Long throw inside the box. Gale is there. They can't clear, not yet. Still struggling to get out of their own box. Sent over wide to right. Right sends it high to Gale. Didn't reach him. Keith Benjamin was there. Lewis Watson inside to Damari McCarthy. Now Scott McLeod. Back to Watson. Already attacked at Kingston College. Ball played to Jamari Morrison, went to the to the byline. Gets the corner kick for his team. The task continues to get more difficult for this. I got my say team. You can try to defend this corner. And these Kingston College supporters have come alive. Gavamasea, they don't score a lot of goals. 17 in their 11 games played so far. Three in their last. Averaging 1.5 goals per game. Well, this is the first corner of the match. And Atkinson to live. Not the best delivery. Easily handled. He went too much under it and even took up a bit of the turf in trying to execute that corner kick. We've seen this Garvin Massey team in their last game in the quarterfinals was across the cup. Seems down and out against Manchester find a way back so some college will not want to relax here. And even in this game in the early part that they did have some good chances. St. George's College got the lead over Merrin Gordon's boys. And the two goals were scored in the first half. And then St. George's College cruised right after. Gale lost it. Blake sends it up long. That's a good looking pass. Gav Maceo, this is a big opportunity for them. Muirhead! 
good kick by David Martin. It's a good goal kick in there for Martin. And then it seems to a goal here. Run away from him a little. Trying to get the chip out to poke it between the legs of the goalkeeper. Just a little bit out of his reach. Didn't get enough on him. And Martin suffered it. Warning signs are there for Kingston College. He cannot relax against this Gavin Messier team. Team, as you saw in that build up just now, a long ball of field. A lot of players waiting in the attacking third of this Kingston College team. The turn by Chabon Gale. Pass was poor though. Time. Because of the threat that this front three for Kinson College carry, we you can see their Gaga Masaya, they suddenly take two touch of the football in the defensive area. Robinson gave them Atkinson, making life uneasy for this Gaga Masaya defense. What a battle there between Robinson and Thomas. Tavon Richards comes across and does his job well. Well, kids and college would have been many persons' favorite for this competition and even for the Manning Cup. Atkinson back on this left side. Watson. Majority of the possession, 58 percent. Does well to win it. Cousins had the right idea. What was too much for Claire Clark to do to try and catch that one. And the good thing about this Kinson College possession majority of it is that it's been a positive possession. It's always a wonderful ball. stop from Dwayne Atkinson and the pass to boot. Gale inside the box. Back to Atkinson. Fabulous save. And Atkinson is there to push it across the line. The guard must say defense asleep. And Atkinson almost a one-man show. Did enough to make it 2-0 to Kingston College. Initially a good save there from the goalkeeper Benjamin, but a mix up with himself and his defender. And here we saw some good skill there shown by Atkinson. Gail also on the ball, Atkinson showing good awareness there. And you would have expected the defender to clear after the goalkeeper made the stop the second time around. that situation as we saw there going to sleep was Thomas Atkinson well awake in slotting that one between the legs of goalkeeper Benjamin. I have no idea what Shuwei Thomas was thinking there. 
It was a case of stationary football inside the box because he didn't move a bit. Almost if, if he moved, he would have broken some unwritten rule. Two of the famed front three gotten on the score sheet already. Or is it? Is Atkinson with both? Oh, Atkinson. Yeah. Yes. They come forward in droves so much that. Always get confused as to which of them is on it. And then he's been switching sides as well, Dwayne Atkinson. Second goal would have been comical if it wasn't so serious for Gavin Maceo. It's as if they handed them a gift there. Yeah. Oh no, business score again. Dream needs no gift. That's 16 goals for Atkinson this season. And he would have gotten the 50th. Goal for Kinson College this season with that second. Half century in cricket. Here's a shot from distance. Oh, that was on target. It was a late with the effort there, the left footed drive. It was Barrington Blake. Well, I suppose he's the only one on the field with that gum shot. And he caught it well. Good strike there. Not sure if you can write off Gavin Maceo. What a quality ball that is from Blake to Muirhead. And he decided to go the long route. I'm not sure why. It was Muirhead, in fact, it was Clear Clark, who thought he had the pace to do that. situation like that you would have expected him, expected him to fake to go to the line and then try and come inside where he would have had more space to carry out his attack. Can you get there? Challenge coming in. Came in from Kyle Shimu. With just about four minutes to go for half time, I think, I must say at this stage, we have to ensure that Kingston College does not get another goal. Yeah, it would be game over, I think. What's with a long throw for KC? Oh, the ball played back to the keeper, who does well with the clearance. Very well with a bouncing ball. Got good purchase on it, David Martin. The party has begun for a few KC supporters. Spanner Dennis had to be in the mix. <laughs> we can't miss him.
Claire Clark, Cousins is there, couldn't reach him. And that shot is over the top. Needed a little bit more creativity there, and Sylvia was all alone on the right hand side, begging for it. And Gabo Marcia will have to show more creativity and patience in their build up. necessary there from Kingston College. Now they have to defend. That's something they know how to do well. Blake. Thomas. Keeper comes out. Does well. suggesting that he doesn't like the fact that he's called into action as often as he has been in the last few minutes. <laughs> Atkinson, on that occasion, couldn't get by Shimu. Now here's Silveira. Kimani Silveira. Silveira. Almost very well done. Almost, but what was telling me here was the lack of support that would, was coming across from the government say, team to this right hand side to, to help Severe out. He was left on his own with three Kingston College defenders. Delightful ball, Severa couldn't quite control it. Momentum almost lost. It's with Cousins now. Couldn't control it as well. But Cousins need to be, be needed to have done better than, than that. He needed to really get that one under his spell. Gavin Maceo can't come back in this game, you know. But they need more quality in the attacking third. In your head with the infringement. As we're in the one minute of added time. For stoppages. Cousins. Maybe you're suffering from a bit of cramp. Had a good chance just now to have really put some pressure on the Kingston College defense. Really poor first touch. put her up on the first half. Yep, it does. After 45 minutes, Dwayne Atkinson's double. Enough to give Kingston College the advantage. Taking both goals quite well. One from long range. And the second approaches effort after the government said defense fell asleep. Akil Benjamin would have been disappointed with that second goal in particular. The attacking force of Gav Masil will need to improve in order to get the better of the KC boys. After 45 minutes, it's Kingston College 2, Gav Masil High 0. Mullins of uh, Carver Masaya High. Lots to think about after this first half. 
What do you address first? Well, definitely we'll have to adjust our defensive shape and ensure that we don't concede first and then we'll see how we can be more creative and more decisive in the attacking terrain. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. All right, Dwayne Mullins there of Garvey Maceo, hoping to fix things in the second half. Joining me now is Raymond Watson of Kingston College. Raymond, pleased with your team's first half performance? Uh, yes, very much pleased. I thought we could have gotten another goal or two, and that would have been lovely. But also, Garvey Maceo, they got a look in or two, so I think it's a fair result at the moment. Pleased with 2 nil, but it's usually said that is the most dangerous lead to have. Uh, what do you do come second half? I actually said the same thing to my head coach, Mr. Bernard, about that 2 nil. So, second half, you know, um, we'll be bringing in Tyrese Williams. Want another goal or two, definitely. He should be in for Siobhan Gale. And contemplating the right back change, but we'll just hold that for the moment. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you very much. Raymond Watson there always giving us the possible substitutions before we even ask. So Kingston College, the 2017 uh, Champions Cup winners, they currently lead Garvin Masia two goals to nil here at the National Stadium. We're going to take a break. We have lots more for you when we return. <laughs> Schoolboy Football brought to you by Digicel, the Bigger Better Network, Water, Land of Good and Water, and KFC. It's finger licking good. This match into the triple head intercepted by Liam Bailey. Flipping highlight. What is Bailey doing? What is Bailey going? Why is he leaving the team? Are you okay, How much are you people watching? Shouldn't you be at the game? that you see the trail on which you walked and the restroom and changing facilities that was donated by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund. Creating Wealth Monday nights at 9.30 on CTV. Hello, my name is Camille Stewart. I am 19 years old. I am in Upper Six and I am a prefect peer counselor and I am the president of the female football team of the Lacovia High School. Get ready to be schooled with Campus Vibes, Saturdays at 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. EDT on CTV. Then I'm off in Pupa Canis, man, and read the machine. Go tell Maxine, Paulette, and Pauline. Tell them for rock, them for rock, and come in. This is original chronics. See. <laughs> I'm Rainy Finoli from New York City on TLC. Say yes to the dress, Rainy knows best, and Rainy to the rescue. And you're watching Scene. Thank you, Snow Tomorrow. I thought I 
told you. Welcome back to the National Stadium for this ISA Champions Cup game between Kingston College and Gav Maceo High. We're at half time and KC lead Gav Maceo by two goals to nil. As we take a look at the parade, power through moments of this first half. In the opening moments of this one, Gav Maceo actually came knocking. And came close. Muirhead with the head off the post. And then the follow-up over the, well, cleared off the line, the follow-up by uh, Rishi and Brooks. And then this effort wide of the mark. Being into the thick of things, Kingston College, after a while, they started off pretty slowly. And then Tamara Morrison's effort over the top. Calvin Maceo losing it in a dangerous area. Atkinson looking up, driving that one home. Took a deflection. But Atkinson will claim it. And the 26th minute, getting his fifth of the season. And Kingston College were 1 0 ahead. But he was pretty grateful for that. Cav Maceo showed that they were not too far behind. Muirhead was just a little bit too far behind that one. Couldn't get it over the keeper. David Martin, who did well. And then Atkinson, look at this. Wonderful stuff. Gale did well to get it back to him. Atkinson shot. Brilliant save from Benjamin. And then, well... Not exactly sure what Shoei Towns was, think, was thinking there as Atkinson went by him and put it through the keeper's legs. A half century of goals for Kingston College. And the brother of Jamaica's cricketer, Shane Thomas, would have been a little bit ashamed of that moment there. As we take a look at the statistics, courtesy of KFC. 10 shots, 4 on target for KC. Gav Maceo, 9 shots, 6 on target. 7 fouls committed by KC, 5 by Gav Maceo. Just the one corner kick in the game so far. Kingston College with it, as well as 58% possession. It's now time for the water break from the stands. Here's Shawana. Donald, I am in the stands and I am with the Kingston College Massive. Enjoying the game so far? The game is good so far. I just want to pick up the magazine, the Rancher Dallas, Duane Akiso. He scored a two goal and we know we are going on victory. And I just want to pick up KC Fraternity, my son Nathan Kante Thomas, that scored a winning goal last year, Manning Cup. I love KC. <laughs> pick up KC all the time. That line obviously will never die. I love KC. Are you enjoying your teacher program so far? Why, well, it's good. We expect to pick up where we leave off in the first half, score some more goals, and let's get this over with. Do you think now that Kingston College have tasted what it's like winning the Manning Cup after 32 years last year, they will go on a steady winning streak? Steady, that's what we're hoping for. Definitely, that's what we're hoping for. We're building, and as you can see, we're building from the under 14 straight up. So I expect a dynasty. Oh, the Kingston College dynasty. You're a student at Kingston College? Yes, I am. I'm in grade 13. How do you feel about your team's performance so far? I mean, it's been pretty good. Expected. May be able to do even better, but satisfied. Yeah. How nice would it be to not only retain your Manning Cup title this year, but to even win the Champions Cup? Well, that would be amazing considering this is not the best team we've had. It's a bit young. So that would be very good for them to win multiple titles. Yeah, that would be very good. 
Can I get that famous line? Oh, she left. <laughs> I wanted her to give me the famous line. How do you feel about Kingston College tonight? Oh, I feel great today. I feel and to be a supporter for so many years in all the sports. I feel excellent today that we're winning at the halftime. So I feel good about that. All right, guys. This is where I leave you for the water break from the signs with the Kingston College Massive. Okay, they're very guys, confident in their team. Know. They're happy. They're pleased with the score. And See you in the second half. She's a winner. Whoa. She's a winner. Whoa. Me. What are you doing? I'm going to have a wrestling match here this weekend. And you look like a winner, you know? Come on, Connie. Red Stripe Football Mondays is back on your home of champions with a round one rumble in the jungle. Former champions Arnett Gardens FC will boast their familiar jungle's pride and new mentality as much improved Tunga Holden FC come to town with three points and respect on their minds. Arnett Gardens, Tunga Holden, the Red Stripe Premier League. Stand up for your stripe in action live Monday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern on CTV. Can you feel the rhythm? Get ready as the station with the widest array of Caribbean programming brings you flavor, inspiration, and vibes. Start your week with the Nikki Clark Show and travel with her on an inspirational journey. Feel the beat during the week with three days. Why don't we have a score for you? Then strut on stage with Winfred Williams. You can manage your own affairs now. Taste the Caribbean passion from Chef Patrick on Cooking with Love. You can follow along, you see all the ingredients. Then slow it down a few notches with Freddie Flight. John's testimony is a what he saw. CTV, your preferred eye into the Caribbean. So much action to look forward to as far as the Champions League is concerned on Tuesday, FC Zenit against RB Leipzig, Tuesday 11.55 a.m. Jamaica time, 12.55 p.m. ECT. 
on Sportsmax. Also on Sportsmax that same day in the afternoon, 3 o'clock to make night for ECT Chelsea and Ajax will meet up. And on Wednesday, or rather Tuesday, 11.55 a.m. on Sportsmax 2, Barcelona against Slavia Prague. And also on Tuesday on Sportsmax. Crack in action in the Champions League. And hopefully a cracking second half in this one. Kingston College leading Brazil by two goals nil. And Kingston College will start the action in this second half. Carl Marcel, a Copa coming back in this one. They have to make a statement early. And it's going to be Kingston College picking towards the hills now. And uh, Governor will be kicking towards the sea. No. They don't get the goals in this second half. They'll be sailing out of this competition. Yeah, for them to, to do so in this second half, you would feel that Coach Marin Garden would have had to deliver the team talk of the season so far. Continuing that talk because it will take a lot to get past this Kingston College team led by that one with Le Bernard. I think it would be fair to say that Kingston College in the first half didn't get out of second gear. It's still got two goals. Yeah. Two parts of the cousins on that occasion. And uh, David Martin was real alert. Really alert on that occasion. The difference between these two teams, yes, there's two goals in it, but Gabriel here, they have gotten chances. It's just the fact that Kingston College has been more clinical and a little bit more creative in that final third. Your head pulled back, and it's going to be a free kick to Gabriel Marcel. Let's see how much urgency they show in this second half here at the start of the second half. This one sent up wide, looking for Claire Clark. Thomas to Clark. Dragging that one to the edge of the box. Thomas should get there. Blake was pressured, lost it. Didn't quite put it into touch. Governor still, still trying to come forward. Blake was a late challenge on Cousins, who limped away. Free kick to Governor Seal. seek to employ more or commit more players in the final third of this Kingston College era to try and see if they can get something back early. They need a good delivery here. This one is driven wide of the mark. Very ambitious there. It's all this curling away, wasn't it? Yes, and goalkeeper Martin untroubled by that one. Good work by Rashane Brooks. Nice think over the top to Gale, who could do a lot with it though. Maybe he didn't realize he had more time. Yeah. He didn't that one down. For the best 
explains all this up more time, right? They do, and they are aware of it as well, on that given that occasion. Getting in some trouble here, Shimyu. The other card will come out. The partner is destined to be shown that card. But well, he's the one that's riding on the ground, mind you. not going to be enough to cause her for me to put that car back in. <laughs> well, I'm not sure where the hand would have come into that challenge, but it did come out and across the face of the player. We've been quite lucky in that situation. We've seen situations where in the games where the hand is swung like that, persons have been shown much in order for things like this. What a thing. Mistaken. I think Gavin actually got a yellow card before. We can see Gavin Marcel players looking at the card and asking the referee some question. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a second yellow card for Calvin Gardner. And he's been sent off. I think he can't have any complaints there. He's remonstrating with the referee, but definitely a bookable offense. There was no need for the left hand to come across like that and like he did well unless he's complaining about the first challenge he really should be complaining about the second uh, he did get what official there was just double checking but yes was shown a yellow card earlier and needlessly that second yellow because as you were saying, Donald, there's no need for the hand to come in play there. None. And it definitely looked intentional. Someone sent inside the box. Casey down to 10 players. A change hasn't been made as yet. One of their defenders now out. Can Gavin Masia capitalize now? I was trying to say, based on the scheme of things, maybe that's equity. Maybe balance out in terms of making Gabbatia more capable of competing against this Kingston College team. But they have to show more quality in the attacking third. They just have to. Well, that was lamented by their assistant coach at half time, saying they have to show more creativity in the final third. see still no sign of a change Simu can the long ball over the top not working Simu steps in again playing with 10 men that gets sent off. Say, what can they do now? Space opening up from your head and just run out of ideas. We're just lamenting about showing creativity and having good ideas in the final third. None shown there by this Gavin Massey team.
chance here for Gavmasio. Cousins on the volley, it's high and wide. It's going to be a goal kick to Kingston College. Let's take a look at the two chances by Gardner. Yeah, so that was a yellow card. And yeah, that one was a yellow card. I can have no complaints from those. Change seemed to be imminent for Kingston College, but also there's a change on the park because what we see happening there is that one of the central midfielders has dropped a little bit deeper in the number five, McLeod, to keep them back that four at the back. Yeah, McLeod, no stranger to playing in the back line for Kingston College. Started there actually at the start of the season, Scott McLeod. Gardner, Calvin Gardner was sent down. So they've gone to a second yellow card. Four one system of formation for the most part. Again, the lone man up front. Lake again goes long. Clark tries to keep that one in play. kick taken by Thomas Blake unlike him that bad pass Ronaldo Robinson now the other card comes out to Muirhead seen any football being played since the start of the second half, do I? Uh, not much in terms of it's been a stop-start half so far. I think what Kinson College is going to try and do a lot here is to try and possess it as much as possible being a man down. And they're leading by two goals to nil, so they don't have to push to far up field. Confirmation there of Muirhead getting the yellow card. Getting it off just in time. McCarthy lost it to right. And we see them with just during that attacking play from Kingston College, which is the difference between them and Garvin Maceo. They played it short and then went long because of the fact they're short and they're playing a man up front. But the supporting cast comes up there much quicker than the Garvin Maceo team does when they play that long ball. And that they have to do better, Gavin say in that transition. Kinson College showing their versatility in playing the possession and also playing direct. Guard, now get a second yellow card. They will have to use this ball much better. They need to take advantage of the advantage in the players. Tyrese Henry is coming on in place of Gregory Cousins. Don't think he was 100% anyway, Gregory Cousins. Henry just the one goal to his name so far this season actually scored one of the goals in that comeback win over Manchester High. In the Costa Cup quarterfinal round. Has pace as well, Tyrese Henry. Nice move. Clear Clark. Should have opted for the pass a long time ago, but he gets a free kick. He definitely passes on through that channel. He chose to step over. One too many times. Mm -hmm. 
Muir Hagen making his way in between the lines. You see, making the change, Shavon Gale coming out, Tyrese Williams is coming on in his stead. Just in the situation that he's going to be alone, a lot of time up front, he wants some fresh legs. Blake to deliver. Keeper comes out and misses. Still a chance. And it's headed. Oh, it's clear off the line. And now Kingston College will counter attack. Purple shirts running forward. Morrison. Right. Delivers. Oh. What a save that is. From Benjamin. Another oh. chance. Benjamin again with the save. And it's hot out of the box. That was the game coming alive. You're talking about not much football being played in the second half. But end to end stuff. And for the first time we saw Martin coming. Not being convincing. And at, at some point here, I saw Gavin Massey was appealing because there seemed to have been a handout by one of the defenders. And then straight down the other end, Kinson College oh, could have just made Gavin Massey pay. But Benjamin came up big for them on two occasions. Getting down smartly at his near post there to deny Robinson. And this was the chance earlier for Gavin Massey. Muirhead head up. Cleared off the line. And for a moment there we saw McLeod. He saw that thought went through his mind to put the hand up. But might have gotten a shot from the defender on the line. Casey making a change. Jar Blair coming on, placing Andrade right. Like for like, that swap, and right back. fresh legs out there because with a man down they know they're gonna have to cover more ground to freshen up his defense. This KC unit to get out of their own house. Showed a little bit too much of the ball on that occasion. And that's a problem I have with this Garvin Massey team just the use of the football. Not holding on to it long enough to really cause problem for this Kinson College team who showed good technicality just now come playing out from the back and our man down Blair Ball over the top, looking for Tyrese Williams. Williams, some work to do, but he lost it. Blake has it for Gavin Masil, looking for the long ball of field. 
couldn't find Claire Clark. Atkinson couldn't keep it in play. Atkinson kind of showing what is required when you go down to 10 players on a par. Really putting in the shift here. Went out of possession. Richards with a clearance of Gavin sale. Watson picks it up. Gavin. Morrison. Blair. Just too far in front of Sajar Blair. Might be fresh legs, but that was asking too much of him. Good vision, though, by uh, Jamari Morrison. change in that approach for Gavin Marseille since the second half and even with Kingston College going down a player just have not seen that coach Gordon they're looking around trying to probably find a way other than what they've been doing so far well they've had their chances haven't they Gavin Marseille to get back into this contest as Watson does well. Go to the different side, almost got through to Jamari Morrison. Sajar Blair. Sajar Blair over the top. Saudi was trying to do him in for the top corner. Post this time type of finish he was looking for, but it's not too much under it. still see distinct line of the four defenders that Gavin Marseille is still employing for the back with Kingston College down a player and also just having one striker up front. You want to feel that they could have committed or sacrificed one of the defenders in trying to get more attacking intent going. Well, probably this is the reason why they're holding back. Kingston College, the offside flag shown against them. Williams is offside. They always pose that threat though. And of course, they do have speed up front. Go KC. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They do, and that might be playing on the mind of Coach Gordon. However, you're in a knockout competition and you barely have just over about 22 minutes in this contest, so you have to take some risk. You're handling that well. Anyway, we'll do Thomas Blake Muirhead Handle Ball there. He measured the defender. Dwayne Atkinson's dad in the middle in the Kingston College jersey. We'll be pleased with what his son has done so far this evening. Dwayne Atkinson with the two goals. Two goals that seem set to. Kingston College progress in this competition. We haven't seen anything from governors here to suggest that they are going to eclipse that. Blair. Morrison. Blair. 
Williams. Just Williams up top. Oh, good move by Blair. Williams deflected wide. Corner kick to Kings of College. Blair did very well there. He turned Richards inside out and getting his pass inside. Almost to perfection. Of the defender. Oh, didn't know a lot about it actually. <laughs> Corner kick to KC. Can get, they go three up? Oh. How was that delivery? They didn't commit the players forward either. Kingston College. Want it. Tyrese Henry. Blake. Thomas. Muirhead. Blake. Blake's effort is charged down. Trying to find Marvin Williams and a whistle on the play. That's what we're talking about here, epitomized by Blake's decision to take a shot. Roger Morrison comes in, replacing Marvin Williams as Garvin Massey continues to ring the changes. Sent inside it for Tyrese Henry was offside. It was way outside the line there and should have been able to see across the wide rather and should have been able to see across that line. There's no reason for the drift offside there, Henry. Not helping this guy with Messiah cause at all. needing to get back into this one down two goals and since the second half it's Kinson College that has come closest and even when they've gone down to 10 players Kinson College they still carry more threat than the Scarborough Massey team is showing at the moment Senses inside and we'll try again. This is a better delivery, but the keeper saw it all the way. It was a good take from Martin, he was always dipping fast. Couldn't afford to spill with the unrushing government see attackers. Martin needs some attention now. Casey Custodian. here for this KC team or could be a plan for them to get a breather after they're down a player. As we see all of them rushing to the sideline to get themselves refreshed. Dwayne Atkinson has been instrumental in this game so far. His two goals have made the difference. That a deflected effort. So oh, we've seen this before happens we for Kingston College and then in the right place at the right time. The government's here defense static and Atkinson pounced. 
my player of the match so far, Dwight? Wouldn't look anywhere other than at Atkinson. Probably forgot what my say is still on the par. Say would make things interesting, but where will it come from? High ball, free kick to Gavin Maceo. Very good question, Donald, because we're looking at we cannot see where they will get this ball. Ronaldo Robinson trying to get by Muirhead. Watson. Challenge coming in on him. It's almost like the guy wants to get the ball up front. And let's see what happened. And maybe he was right when he made his comments earlier, Coach Bernard, that it's a small challenge. Because even with 10 players, He's managing to sit and be relaxed. Well, they can't relax now, can they? Probably they can. Throw it to Gabo Maceo. In the attacking third, though, the drums continue to beat. Casey dancing to the tune of their own drums at the moment. Easy clearance. They need something different. Thomas, wide, well wide, in fact. It's more of the same there, Donald. It's just that there's, there's no idea when they get forward, they, they get into that area and it's a shot from distance. It's a long ball of field. Not much combination play in that final third. Nice first touch from Tyrese Williams, who's through and goal. Williams! The keeper comes out and does really well again, Akil Benjamin. Casey not done yet. Morrison trying to turn away from his marker. Goes into some space. Jamari Morrison drills it just wide. Benjamin, though, I believe, had that one covered. Had his interest, but definitely had it covered. Before that, you felt Williams should have finished. Yeah, this was the chance before. Second touch, just a bit heavy. Just ran away from him a little. And that gave the goalkeeper the opportunity to block it. There easily by the Mario McCarthy. Number thirteen Brown coming there, coming in for Garvin Maceo. Orlando Brown comes on for Shimu. And with that, we see Muirhead be pushed further up the park to try and see if he can, in these final 10 or so minutes, try and bring Gavin Massey back into this one. Travis Williams did really well there. 
destined to suffer the same fate they did last season with this very same competition going out at the first hurdle. Seems that way. Clear collects. Should have run better with the pass. Still with KC's possession. They have the throw. Ten minutes to go in this one. And KC, it appears as if they're cruising. No iceberg ahead. Definitely this ship will not sink today. Well, there's Lenny Hyde on the right. And Tyree Small of Sheldon Smart. This player from Clarendon College. Yep. A striker. Both looking as relaxed as they were last night. Even on the side nine. Taking a look at possible opposition. If you hadn't noticed the red dot on the top left hand corner of your screen, you, you probably wouldn't be able to identify that Kingston College are down to 10 players, but they are. Galvin must say unable to press home any yeah. numerical advantage. Definitely couldn't tell by just watching the play. Kingston College were down to a player. Williams is outside. Do or die for Gavin Masir now. It's more looking like die, Donald. Yeah, they have done little so far. Robinson on the go. And then he was stopped in his tracks. Gets it back though, Robinson. Oh, nice move by Ronaldo Robinson. Was trying to gather the ball to follow up as he went down that left hand side. Eventually lost possession. Gav Masir trying to move things on quickly, but not with much quality. All game long, I think the passing quality has been poor from this Gav Masir team, not picking out their intended target as much as they would want to. Sure they registered a shot on target in the second half. Remember. Atkinson continuing his run. Couldn't get the supply back in his favor. Oh dear. Again another pass goes astray. Tyrese Williams, not the best touch that was. Neither was that. Blair, type it inside, and Robinson couldn't gather. saw the first five minutes of this game, thought it would have been interesting as Gav Maceo had a couple of attacks. Yes, they did start it right and got some of the best chances early in the game, but since then... Nothing. Robinson 
Bullshit. Williams, oh, oh my word. That? Should have been a tap in. He just had to score from there. There's no reason for Williams to have missed that one. He's bemused as well. You're not the only one, son. Was there an awkward bounce? Mm. Can't be in the pitch on that one. The three looks at it, I still can't decide what he was trying to do. Or why he missed that one. He was trying his best to snatch at it one. But in trying to guide it, he... Missed it. He missed it, yeah. He's been used, but not for that. Just how he has not been able to take advantage of the fact that Kingston College has played a large portion of this game with two players. And within themselves, if we are to be honest. True. Have not had to really change the gears too much, Kingston College, tonight. Or exert a lot of energy. They're in a very tough quarterfinal round group in the Manning Cup. They've already got the better of Charlie Smith. You did so convincingly too, in fact, goes to know. Maybe that's another reason they're not showing much tonight in terms of having to play Thursday and tonight. Speaking of Charlie Smith, they're drawing nil all with Cornell College at Catherine Hall. And many felt that Cornell College was the Costa Cup's best hope of continuing in this Champions Cup. Yeah. Here's Williams. Tyrese Williams. Can he bury this time? Well, he buries it wide of the mark. And uh, he probably want the earth to just open up right now and swallow him in. And since coming on, he could have been an equal amount of goal as Atkinson. Certainly has had the opportunities. Just needs to work on his finishing. Tyrese Williams. But even those misses, it doesn't look as if it's going to be costly. Almost worked out with my remarks there. Silvera. Well, we haven't seen him in a bit. Silvera. Silvera. Your thoughts? It's simple. It's just the quality again. It came, came down to quality. He did the hard work and at the end of the day. I mean, and nothing passed and nothing attempted across. It was an embarrassing attempt at a cross. Pretty much summed up Pavel Marseille's night. So Atkinson's day is done. It's Jerome Barclay is on. Jamari Morrison, wide of the mark. Not at their best in terms of their finishing tonight, uh, Kingston College, but not going to cost them tonight. I'm pretty sure as they progress further in this competition, they're going to have to be more clinical in front of Goa. Of Jamaica College, Clarendon College, and Co. waiting in the wings. not being a stranger to playing as central defense and he saw how easy he transi transition into that position 
and adjusted well and it seems seamless for Kingston College in terms of making that adjustment and continuing to be solid at the back. Nine clean sheets so far in 13 games. Deliberate long and over the head of Jeremy Muirhead. Those type of service, it looks destined for them to have their 10th clean sheet of the season. Three minutes of stoppages to be played, and not a minute more. But as they say, it's a minimum of three, Donald. <laughs> The narrative continues about the the gap between the rural and urban era teams. Many will talk and have their suggestions as to why, and some lament about support and how they prepared. But definitely, there's a gap. Sajar Blair couldn't get by Shawain Thomas. That's a summary right there. <laughs> Perfect. Not another word required. Williams has space. Williams! Oh. <laughs> it hits the oh. post and it goes behind. Still trying to get on target, Tyrese Williams. A trick of chances. Probably should have gone for the far post there, out of the far side. Just open his body up and get it to that far side would have been a better chance of him scoring. Morrison, Benjamin does well. Just run away from him there. Shot. Robinson! Oh. Oh. Ronaldo Robinson trying to end this one spectacularly. That one carried a threat. And uh, it will end a victory for Kingston College. It was comfortable for Ludlow Bernard. And it turned out to be a small challenge after all. And as Kingston College with two goals from Dwayne Atkinson said that was enough in this encounter. Well, second consecutive year, Murren Gordon's boys go down to an opponent which resides at North Street. Last year it was St. George's College. This year it's Kingston College and it is by the same scoreline. KC, they have a lot of work to do as they progress on all fronts to win the big prizes this year. And Northern Bernard will regroup the set of boys as they continue their journey. But he'll take the points here. He'll take the win here. A Dwayne Atkinson double enough for Kingston College with a 2 0 win over Gavin Massale. As we take a look at the power aid, power through moments in this one, the goals, two of them, and it was Atkinson. There was a deflection on this shot, it was going in anyway. There was a lot of power there. Akil Benjamin, who's had a really good evening, in fact, couldn't get across in time. And that was 1-0 to Kingston College. Fresh Antonio Richards takes away from him. And 
he didn't know chance and then it was pretty much a one man show here got the play back from Shabon Kale Benjamin pulled off the initial stop and then well there was just a mix up in the defense there as Shawin Thomas stood still and Atkinson did enough to place it in the between the keeper's legs and he started and the move and he really finished it well that was that for the parade power through moments let's take a look at the KFC match statistics KC with 20 shots and uh, they were inaccurate with a little over half of them just eight shots on target Gav Masir with 12 shots seven shots on target nine fouls committed by KC six by Gav Masir the one red card shown to Calvin Gardner of Kingston College and uh, two corner kicks in favor of KC who also had 60% of the possession and of course the KFC played the game Dwayne Atkinson had to be involved right although it was initially brilliant footwork from Atkinson the good thing about it is that he would finish got his teammate involved Siobhan Gale who did his best set it up for him Benjamin was a part of the play with the initial save and then the follow by Atkinson and he's the player of the game Dwayne Atkinson he's definitely the player of the game he's right the so Dwayne Atkinson the player of the game today, the KFC player of the game. This is the third Kingston College game we've done, and Dwayne Atkinson has won the three MVP performances. Do you have space in your house for these trophies? Yeah, because it's a long while, we know, we know a lot of trophies, so I have a space for each trophy I'm going to put on the list. Yeah? How do you feel about receiving this one tonight? Well, I feel very great to know that I come out here, you know, I want to put my name on the score sheet and also in the school a victory. Thank you, Dwayne. You're very welcome. Dwayne Atkinson there, our KFC player of the game. Joining me now is Maron Gordon, head coach at Garvey Maseo. Maron, it seems as if the schools on North Street is your Achilles heels in the Champions Cup. Yeah, when you have a special player like Atkinson, you know, um, it's going to be hard. You know, um, he scored two, two well-fought goals, you know. Um, first the ball in the middle of the park, won the ball, he took a strike and he scored. And, you know, just... You know the type of goal scorer he is. He, he fought hard for the second one. And I think that you know kind of put us back. What else do you believe would have uh, stopped you from winning the game here today? Uh, a little bit of luck. <laughs> we got some some chances on the line. We didn't we didn't score. You know, um, you need to score at least one of those. You know, to keep us in the game. But hats off to Casey. I think they fought well, and I think they they remain um, composed even mm -hmm. though they went down. You know, but such is the game. I'm I'm, I'm I'm really happy with my guys also. Um, now, back-to-back -back disappointments for you, cause, because though you would have won the game against Manchester, you would have missed out on the Da Costa Cup and now this loss here tonight. How do you pick the boys up to refocus on the Ben Francis Cup? Um, to, be, to be honest, um, you know, to, to lose 2-0 to um, one of the best teams in the country, you know, going back to play the Ben Francis, you know, I think it's a good practice for us. I think this might push us, you know, this might be a very, very, this is like a final play in the Da Costa Cup for me, you know, so I think it's be very good. You know, to use that as a stepping stone. Thank you, Maron. Thank you. Maron Gordon, their head coach at Garvey Maseo High. I now invite Ludlow Bernard, the head coach of Kingston College, to join me. Congratulations on this win today. What is this big smile about? Oh, man, I'm just approaching it. It's just something to smile about, you know? Especially considering this victory here tonight. I know you're a very tough coach to yeah. please. Um, how would you sum up Kingston College's performance? Well, I didn't really mind the, the experience today. Um, I've been to play with 10 men. Um, I've always trusted my defense, and I think they stood tall here today. It's kind of unfortunate that Calvin would have received two yellow cards and half, but this is really showing up the depth. The depth and the strength of my defense, which is what I advocated from day one, would be very critical in our campaign.
Well, you speak of the depth of the defense, but what about the rest of the team? How deep is your squad and the quality? We know you have quality, but how deep is the squad uh, to actually go and push for all these titles? Um, we think we have length in the squad in terms of um, finding persons to come onto the pitch and make good replacements. The, the, the circumstances surrounding this game today are kind of had us having to shift our approach, you know, and as a result, some of the players who would have wanted to pull ended up playing throughout the course of the game. Had it been with 11 players, um, changes would have been made. But then again, this is a very good test. For us, right now, the, the, the most key thing is recovery. And that is what we have been emphasizing ever since last week, recovery. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Coach Ludlow Bernard there of Kingston College. Let's take a look at the other results from today's games. So Dayton would have uh, lost though to Excelsior High last evening on penalties. Clarendon College would have gotten the better of Wilma's boys 2-0 last evening while today. St. Andrew Technical stats, they defeated Manning School 2-1. Charlie Smith and Cornwall College there in the second half, and it is currently nil all. While Camperdown and Froome Technical ended 1 1 on regular, but uh, Froome got the better of them 6 5 on penalties. St. George's College and BB Coke. That game has been postponed, but St. George's College obviously with the lead over BB Coke 3 2. You saw earlier Jamaica College defeating McGraw High 7 0. While Kingston College tonight defeated Garvey Marseille to a nail. So the quarterfinals draw is set for November 4, and you can join us live on the Sports Map Zone to see that draw. So just to let you know, we have your Champions okay, League on Sports Max live Tuesday That's at 11:55 a.m. 12:55 ECT, where FC Zenit will play RB Leipzig. While Tuesday at 3 p.m. for ECT, you can see Chelsea go up against Ajax. On Tuesday at 11.55 a.m. 12.55 ECT, Barcelona will play Slavia Prague. And still on Tuesday at 3 p.m. for ECT on Sportsmax 2, Borussia Dortmund will play Inter Milan. And on Monday, we have the SSFL from Trinidad and Tobago. Queen's Royal College will play Naparima College Monday at 2.30 p.m., 3 ECT. And that's it from us this evening at the National Stadium, Kingston College. The defending Manning Cup champions came out here and defeated Garfamasia two goals to nil. And they are definitely sending a message in this It's a Champions Cup competition. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this evening. We do hope you enjoyed our coverage. Until next time, my name is Shawana Evans. Thank you for watching.